So Fields was asked about his footwork as we kind of get into the minutiae here. And I, I thought it was interesting because, you know, year one with Nagy, his footwork was one way. And then here comes the Flus and Getze and company. And they didn't, they wanted him to make a major adjustment, which is, which is difficult when you're used to be playing one way, doing anything for all us recreational athletes out there. Hey, change your forehand. Hey, change your jump shot. Hey, change the way you swing. What change your footwork on how you throw. That is difficult. So he was asked about, you know, where he was when he came in to where he is now with his footwork. And I, and just listen closely and and try to get a feel of of whether you think that Fields is actually liking the way that he's being coached. Not to overanalyze it, but just just give it a critical listen. Here, here he was on his footwork. I mean, yeah, it's different from my rookie year um, because it was a completely different footwork than now. Um, so this footwork that you know we have now, the first year of me using it was last year. So I mean, if yeah, if you're comparing it from now to last year, it's, I would say it's a big difference for you sure. I'm sorry. You being coached differently that year, as far as football. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah, different footwork. Do, yeah, what's up? You feel the effect of this that this works better for you? Yeah, um, not necessarily for me. I mean, of course it does. I think last year, of course, was my first year doing it, so I was just trying to get the hang of it. And of course, I you know grow throughout the year, but you know this year, um, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it, and um, you know, it just times up for the routes better. Um, and you know, just just like I've been saying since last year, our, our uh, whole offense is you know using my feet is, is tied with our feet. So uh, you know, just just trying to use that feet as like a clock in the head, just to move from you know each route in the progression. So the, the one that stood out there for me, I, I you know, not necessarily for mm-hmm. me. Like this is how you all want me to play. This doesn't necessarily help me. I get it that it might help your offense and and what I got to do. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I just, I, it almost feels like he wants to go back to playing the way he he played his whole career before he got to the the Luke Getze, Matt Eberflus Bears. It, it still feel it, maybe it just feels a little bit more comfortable even even going into his second year. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, Mark. When he said that, and I was all the way in the back of the the press conference room. There was a lot of people there today, but that like that stood out not necessarily for me on. Uh, knowing that the footwork is different, but that if he gets his footwork down, that's probably what's best for the entire offense because he said the timing is paired up with the footwork. But that's interesting because what does Justin Fields' opposite foot forward, how does that impact his throwing more than what he's doing right now with obviously his left foot being forward now? So it's interesting that he said that, and hopefully he's getting more used to it now because that's what that's what the system is. You have to have the footwork down or the plays are not going to be on time. You're not going to complete the pass. You're not going to make progress as a quarterback. But that definitely stood out when he said not necessarily for me. Any reaction to that, Braggs? Yeah, it certainly stood out when he said not necessarily. I mean, that's saying, well, I could do it a different way. You know, mm-hmm. so I and and he and he really go ahead, Carm. I'm sorry. Or no, I, 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 I wasn't jumping you. I'm sorry. I opened my mouth. No, my it's mouth. good. I just thought you were going to, um, yeah. Well, chime look, in on- I, I just think it's interesting, right? The, the Bears made a decision, and the Bears being, uh, Luke Getze mainly, uh, right. this offense made a decision that you, we cannot win with you playing that way. We need you to make a major adjustment. And if you go back in time, so they change up his footwork, right? Season gets going. It is ugly. I mean, he's he's having under 100 yard throwing games. They he he actually played fairly. You know, it, the stats did not reflect how well he played against the Commanders, and and neither did the points, scoring only seven. But they came out of that and like, all right, let's turn this dude loose and let's let him let's let him get out of the pocket more because what we have done as far as his footwork, at least part, that that part of it, has not taken hold yet. So let's let this guy play a little bit more natural. And he goes on to break all sorts of records using his athletic ability and his and his force to wow the NFL. And right, here we are. Go, here we and just let me finish. Here we are going into year two, and I think he's obviously more comfortable with it. But mm-hmm. there's just, there's still clearly part of him that's like you know trying to figure it out and is not completely in love with it. I think right because you can make the argument. That last year, 
with the surrounding cast while you're trying to teach him this stuff, implementing an entirely new offense to him, implementing new footwork to him, and it and trying to get him to understand his platform and timing as Matt Eberflus when they asked him what was important for him to work on. Those were the first two things he said. You could argue last year set him back because he's trying to work on these things with uh, offensive line, especially on the interior that he doesn't trust with wide receivers that aren't getting separation, but he has to stay true to his rules that he's being taught. So, you know, in the, you, na- in, in the national football league against the best players right. in the world, keep going. Right. Mm-hmm. And so now you come into this season with a healthy supporting cast. Is it perfect? No, but no team is. So you, you hope that he's got, you know, the right mindset and the the mental, you know, fortuity to get through. I don't, I'm like looking for the word to battle through what he did last year, learn from those mistakes, whether they're his personal ones or the team around him, and now take that in and use that as a positive going into this season. I, I think he can, but the, the thing that you know, when he talked about, you know, hey, I'm just getting comfortable with this now. You know, this is his opportunity now this year, this camp with these guys. Because you remember this year, at the, last year at this time, they didn't even know who their offensive line was. This year they do. That was something that was also talked about today. So that continuity is going to help him with his trust. So I, I look forward to Justin taking that next step. But it's it's going to be a work. Last Yesterday's title is work in progress. It's going to be a work in progress. Does that not mean, does that mean they're not going to be competitive? They absolutely can be. They're going to score points. But there's going to be times where they're just going to have to figure it out, or as Karm has pointed out, they're going to have to run the ball. You know, it, it's it's not mm-hmm. all going to come in a day. He's not going to have these flawless practices like Drew Brees and Peyton Manning this year. But that doesn't mean he can't be the most one of the most dynamic players on offense that the Bears have ever seen. 